Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Senior Council Ahmed Nasser is one man who is so disgruntled. Ahmed Nasser is lamenting that CJ Madakome and the former president Uhuru Migai Kenyatta have blocked their comment section such that no one can make any comment on the tweet they make. You cannot comment on them. They have literally closed the comment section. Not unless you have been mentioned in the tweet, that's why that's when you can comment. And he's also asking two questions. The reason why these two individuals have blocked the comment section on the tweet they make. The first question is that is it because of arrogance on a grand scale? Or number two, just because these two have been thin-skinned. Those are the questions. And uh, the reasons why Senior Council is asking these questions. <laughs> because we understand today, uh, former CJ Maraga took an oath uh, to lead the task force on... Uh, checking on the issue of police officers, I think, in this country. So he took oath of office today. I think he wanted to make comment on that. He could not. And again, some days back, so a few, I think it is... Uh, when was it? Uhuru Kenyatta did a tweet on January 23 in celebrating Raila Molo Dinga's birthday. I think also he wanted to make a comment on that. But he literally find that those comment section have been closed. And we just want to confirm this. Eh? This is what he posted. He tweeted. Eh? CJ Kome and former president Uhuru Kenyatta don't allow comments or feedback on any tweet they post. Arrogance on grand scale or just thin-skinned? That's the question they're asking. And if you go and check on the latest tweet that Mother Kome did, you would see uh it was a tweet on uh, the task force to improve on the terms and the condition of service and the other reforms for members of the National Police Service and the Kenya Prison Service. If you check the comment section, they tell you who can reply. People that Mother Kome mentioned can reply. Like here, she only mentioned the police. So that, those are the people who can reply to this. If you go to Uhuru Kenyatta, I would like to take this opportunity in the new year to wish my brother and friend Honor Baraila Odinga a happy birthday. May God's blessing and favor be upon you today and in the year to come. His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, fourth president of the Republic of Kenya. If you check, he put a, he put a Raila Amun Odinga photo and if you go and check in the comment section, they tell you who can reply. People that fourth president of Kenya mentioned can reply. So if you don't mention you, you cannot reply to those posts. So the big question in the building in the on this pipeline today is that why is it that Uhuru Kenyatta and the mother Kome have disabled their comment section? That's exactly what we want to respond here. That's what we want to analyze. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and back to this discussion. Now, first of all, let us start with the easy one. The reason why Uhuru Kenyatta disabled his comment section. For those who can understand, when Uhuru started having problem with uh, William Samuel Ruto during his second term in office, I think the time the handshake came in and all those other things, Uhuru decided to, in fact, disable his tweet handle. Then when he was appointed, when, he, when Ruto appointed him to continue with the peacekeeping, 
uh, in East Africa and all those things in Sudan and all those areas is when he opened a new account. And the reason was because Dennis Etumbi and the team who were working for, Uhuru, for William Samuel Ruto were really hitting hard on Uhuru Kenyatta. Itumbi had organized some bloggers who were well paid to do a specific job. It was well crafted. Such that any time Uhuru Kenyatta was making any post, they were the first people. In fact, if you check the first hundred re uh, respond, it was coming from these bloggers. And those respond were not positive. They were all negative. <laughs> Just to paint a bad picture about Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, the kind of thing he's doing and uh, create an, uh, a negative perception about Uhuru Kenyatta, his regime and the work he was doing. So bashing on Uhuru Kenyatta was too much. Again, some people had access to that account. They could do anything with it. And uh, Uhuru, because he lacked the security on that account, and then all those things, he decided, then let me do away with this and just use the state house handle to give out an information I feel to do or just give it direct to the media. That was the reason why he disabled his tweet handle and that's why up to now he's not opening the comment section. As simple as that. Secondly, let us come to Mother Kome. The question is that CJ Mother Kome has to serve and she's in office for quite good some time. She's going to stay there. But the question is, why is it that she has disabled the comment section such that she cannot engage with the Kenyans to understand their feeling, their reaction, and what they would want to hear or see from her as the president of the Supreme Court? Why? Just first time in office, Akona Madamrefu Kwenda. The reason is that many Kenyans are not happy on how Mother Kome is doing her job as the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. She realized that many Kenyans are not happy with her. The first reason was on the kind of ruling on presidential petition of 2022 where she ruled in favor of William Ruto. People believe that that ruling was unfair. Mother Kome literally decided to play on one side. The reason they gave to upheld the victory of William Ruto, it was not convincing to many people. So they feel that Mother Kome was easily bought by some individual or system, maybe from the West or within to rule in favor of a certain candidate. So Kenyans have been cursing Mother Komi and they have been telling her openly. They have been castigating her. So the bashing she has been getting from people is the one that made her to disable her comment section. Because if she just open that part now and she do any tweet and you go through the comment section, I don't think if she can sleep. Because the perception will be that no one has trust in the judiciary, no one has trust in anything that Mother Kome is doing in this country. So in one hand or another, Senior Council Ahmed Nasir is literally exposing Mother Kome. That's the big reason why Mother Kome cannot come open to allow people to make their comment or react to anything she's doing. Na nakula mshara wa Kenya, kwa nina asirusu wa Kenya wa hapo kwa ajana and a tweet hub. So he's here in Fanekazi was a Kenya, Akona Bendera, ya Kenya, Kogariake, Nanakula Mshara, wa Kenya, wa Kenya, do anaka mafuta kwa Gariaki, Malia Nakana Naishi, Nipesa, wa Kenya. In a far from Gulie. So Ahmed Nasir, a William Samuel Ruto person, is exposing Mother Kome for putting William Ruto in the office illegally. Number two, the language that Mother Kome used in her ruling on the 2022 presidential petition, it was uncalled for. 
was unacceptable. It was not a court language. So she got it wrong. To an extent, Kenyans nicknamed her Madam Hotea. Said that anything Mother Kome will do, it will be viewed as hot air. So even if she opened that comment section, in all comments you will find a word hot air. Because as Mio, through one of their young lawyers, I think Soweto, they had serious issues to do with the Kamago, there was evidence of the papers, but she referred to those evidence as hot air, hearsay. Those are the words she used in that ruling. So because of that, Kenyans also were not happy. And I want to tell you today, if Mother Kome can go to an extent of disabling, a, closing a comment section on Twitter, it means many people in this country are not happy with her. And who are these many people? Are they people who voted for William Ruto or Raila Molo Dinka? Because if many people were agreeing with Mother Kome and a few are not agreeing with her, there was no reason and, or she could have not been convinced to block her comment section. That means many people are not happy with her. This alone tells you that this many people are the people who voted for Raila Odinga. If indeed Ruto got many votes than Raila Odinga, then those people would have been everywhere defending Mother Kome. But because they were in the side of Raila Odinga, it tells you the reason why she is disabling. She knows what she did, it was wrong, and everyone is aware of what she did. And you can see, because many people don't agree with her in this country, it tells you that there was a person who won election, but they upheld the result in favor of the loser. That's my view. I don't want to think about this, but you can tell me in the comment section. Thank you and see you in our next video.